Welcome back to the That Guy in His Backpack, the final episode of the Carmel River Valley Trail. Uh, just woke up. It's about six o'clock. I'm going to get ready to make my breakfast and get everything packed up. And then we'll be headed out back home. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, Enjoyable trail, really enjoyable. Found a nice camping spot next to the river. Got to hear it all night. Hear the frogs, <laughs> crickets. Really was, really was an enjoyable uh, trip so far. First day didn't turn out like I had hoped, but uh, it's not bad. If uh, not a bad trail, not a bad trail. Uh, I would highly recommend it. Uh, Oh well, yeah, I'm still waking up, but hey, up and at him, ready to go and get started with the day. All right, let's get going. All right, there's my bacon uh, cooking. You can't, you can't smell it, but it smells really good. Again, Farmer John's maple pork sausage. Nothing tastes better in the woods than this stuff, so. I, I'm going to have to put the camera down because I almost had a mishap here a moment ago. But it smells really good and I'm looking forward to eating this. Got some hot chocolate right there. Um, it's going to be a good breakfast. I, uh, but there we go. Look at that. Oh, it smells so good. I'm just going to cook it all and eat it all today. I've got some extra water here. I'm going to have to figure out something to put it in. Uh, I figure, I think I've already know what I'm going to put in. But anyways, there we go. Oh, smells good. We'll let you know when I'm all done. Man, I love breakfast in the woods. Always have, always will. That's the why. All right, so I'm going to make some scrambled eggs. Here's the sausage all done. These are backyard chicken eggs. So there you go. Yeah, it's going to be good. Good breakfast. I mean, probably about three of them. I won't eat all of them. These are all from our backyard chicken. They always taste better when they're from here. Not bad. Tastes really good. Pop off my breakfast with Diet Coke. <sighs> Not bad. I'm debating going down the river and just cleaning everything, uh, everything out just briefly. Just put it in my bag and do it when I get home. Farmer John sausage, maple, so good. Last night, I can still see my uh, breath. So it's pretty chilly this morning, but I'm gonna have to I'm gonna change out of this shirt here in a moment and put on my orange shirt, which is <laughs> looks kind of disgusting, but that's okay. Um, 
at least people can see me. And I know they can because I, I, when I was scouting out this camp, I saw people watching me. They could just see me in my orange shirt, so which is fine. When I go backpacking by myself, I, I just want to be seen just in case something does happen. And oh, just one last little note. Uh, make sure you leave your campsite better than you found it or they call it something else now. Leave no trace. Uh, don't leave any litter, so one of the things I do before I finally move out, I just make sure I got all my garbage out of here and it looks like I did, so. All right, guys. So here we are. I am just kind of looking at my campsite, make sure I didn't leave anything behind. Again, I'm just trying to leave it better than you found it. Uh, the fire is out. Okay, put lots of water on it, double checked it. Put a little water this morning. You can see it's still wet. Uh, there's a little fire wood for whoever comes next. Uh, this is the area that I camped in. Oh. I'm looking for my green pin. I can't seem to find it. Hopefully I will come across it. Um, beautiful bird just flew by. Absolutely beautiful area. Lots of poison oak though. So just be careful if you come down here. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get poison oak. I almost always do. Not too big of a deal. Put some calamine lotion on it. Goes away. You're fine in a few minutes. Uh, a few days. But anyways, this is I'm all ready to go my backpack is lighter um, I think I'm gonna get a new one though this one uh, I don't think is the right one for me I've had it for a few years now and it keeps dropping down so my shoulders are taking all the weight and these backpacks aren't supposed to be like that so I think I'm gonna go to REI just spend a little more than I would like to spend on a backpack but at least I'll get the right one uh, that fits me best so my lower back isn't killing me and my shoulders aren't dying. But absolutely beautiful here. Hopefully you can hear the, the wind blowing or the, uh, hear the river flowing. Great, I love sleeping by a river. And hearing the frogs at night, the crickets, I love it all. So anyways, we are out of here. We're gonna be headed up this way and back the way we came. Uh, and it should be fun. <laughs> I don't know what time it is. I haven't looked. I think it's around 7 o'clock, 7.30 in the morning. So I'm getting out early uh, so I can get back and hopefully in time. And uh, thanks to my wife for letting me take a, three, uh, a few days to, to go backpacking in the woods. Great. Carmel River Valley Trail. Great. It does go over that way. But I decided, hey, uh, I know when I, I've come to a point where I would not get back in time. If I had a week, I would do it, do the whole trail. Uh, but I don't have a week, uh, just a couple of days. And it's been great. It's just great to get out here in the wilderness. So again, I'm not saying this brag, but look, there's no garbage that I can see. I've looked everywhere I've gone, made sure that I have not left anything. Uh, I've got lunch in my side bags where I can get to it. And uh, my original goal was to camp to here. And I'm glad I didn't do it overnight because I would have been in real, I've been in trouble. Because well, I'll show you as we go along, you'll see there's some parts of the trail that are really uh, steep and almost an edge. And I don't do well at night as far as hiking. So I'm a day hiker, fully admit it. Uh, and there's nowhere to camp along. Well, there are a few places. I take that back. There is a, a open meadow up on the on the mountain here, uh, where I could have camped. But had I gone beyond that point, I could have been in some serious trouble. Uh, it's very safe to test your limits. I think maybe if you're a younger person, hey, you know you heal a lot quicker. I'm 53, so uh, I'm willing to. Uh, be a little more cautious. I noticed I don't heal as fast as I did when I was a young kid. Uh, scabs take a longer to heal. Sore legs take a little bit longer. Yeah, that's just part of getting older. But that doesn't mean you can't enjoy the woods. Uh, my boots are still soaked. They're starting to dry out a little bit. 
Uh, I've got brand new socks on, uh, so we'll see. Hopefully I don't get a blister, that's my biggest concern. But I do have some blister stuff on my first aid kit, so if I do get a blister, um, I can take care of it. These boots are pretty good, I've never had to blister with them. Or even my old, old boots from uh, uh, Big Five, so my cheap ones, they work pretty good for me. All right guys, we'll see you in a little bit as we go up the trail. This part gets a little interesting. Uh, it's kind of a fun part to go through. Of the entire trail, this is the part I like the most. Uh, one of the things you'll notice, there aren't a lot of pine trees, almost all oak. Uh, oak don't lose their feathers. Don't lose their feathers. Don't lose their leaves. Oaks don't lose their leaves in the the fall. Uh, there are some trees here that do. Uh, occasionally you'll find a pine tree here or there, but not usually. It's not that type of forest. So a lot of people when they think of hiking in California, they think of the Sierra Nevada, and those are beautiful. But this is not that. Give you, a, let you see what I'm seeing. And when we get to it, I'll show you what I mean by uh, open field or a meadow. All right, we are well above the river now. So hopefully my water will which I think it will. We'll stretch the rest of the trip. There's no other water sources on this part of the trail. Uh, there is a little one, but it's closer to the end. Well, there's two, but one of them is almost a trickle. Uh, I probably wouldn't get water out of that source. We don't have to. And the other one's kind of going a little but not much. Okay, this is where I'm talking about. There, it's only a one way, there's really only room for one person going up. If someone else comes down, you have to really lean into the, the hillside here, which is covered in bushes, as you can see, stuff like this. Um, otherwise, it's, it's pretty close to 90 degrees. I mean, not quite, but close. There was a couple of times yesterday where I started to, I actually almost slipped, so. That's why I'm glad I didn't do this at night. There's the lake. In fact, I hopefully you can see it. The river moves into the lake right there. And the lake goes all over that way. So we're gonna be headed over that way. Be mostly flat for a while. Now we get to the point where I have to go up. It's 
says this is a hard trail, but uh, maybe it's just me, I'm uh, out of shape, I don't know, but it's not too bad. Just watch out for the poison oak, which is, and the ticks. Uh, both were pretty hard to get away from, and those lovely flies. All right, so we are coming up to where the trail used to go. Okay, there was a, a, a landslide here several years ago and the trail used to go that way. Uh, all trails even has you, it gives you that as a potential route, but you can't, it's, it's all, uh, it's all, uh, what do you call it? It's all slit, mountain slide. So you can't really go that way anymore. So you have to go this way, which is the way we came. So um, if you do all trails, it will show that way when you come back. But I mean, you could go, but you're gonna come to an edge and uh, you won't be able to go on any further. So we came from clear over there all around here to where we're at right now. All right, guys, so here we are. This is the really only other stream you have until you get to the, the the river so just keep that in mind uh i'm told there's other water crossings after the river it could be just the river itself but this one you're not gonna get too wet on <laughs> uh you probably could get water from here if you didn't bring enough i would definitely filter it though uh, is running water, so it's probably pretty safe. Um, but also make sure to wear bugs, put on bug spray because there's not a lot of mosquitoes. There are a couple near the river, uh, but there are these bear. Or, just kind of showing you what it looks like here. The stream goes into that bush right there. Um, there are horse flies and they bite. See those little blood? That's from the horse flies. So they bite. So keep that in mind. We're coming near the end of this part of the trail. And we'll, we're gonna come up on the road here in a moment, takes you to the dam. Uh, the lake you can see some people out there in their boats fishing uh, some people go swimming lots of wood there on the I don't know if you can lots of wood from trees probably in fact here it is you can see this is the the landslide so the trail used to go along there uh, now it goes up and over so here we go It's all road.
to the end of the trail. Uh, another one of these meadows. Just a few weeks ago, this was still kind of green. Now it's golden and here in about a month, it'll probably be brown. And so a lot of the hills around here. I think I got a blister. My shoes are almost completely dry at the end of the trail. I think I'm getting a blister on my left foot. Luckily, the fence is right there. Save the day. So I'm gonna get off this backpack and uh, drink a Diet Coke to end the trip. And then go to Carmel Valley, stop by a convenience store and uh, get a Diet Coke and a sandwich or something. Be nice to eat something that is not a, a not a backpacking meal. Although I did have eggs and sausages this morning. That was really good. Okay, attention anglers. So if you're a fisher, that's what you gotta do. Uh, so now we are in the state of California land, I guess. Uh, once you go on, once you leave the road on the trail, then it's natural forest. All right, so here we go. Big Pines Trail is what we did. Our Car Carmel River Valley Trail. So it did five miles. Uh, the Hidden Canyon and the Pine Valley and the Pine Ridge Can. Those are what the signs say, they're all overgrown now. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this final episode of the Carmel River Valley Trail. I am definitely gonna come back next year I'm gonna give myself a couple more days. <clears throat> I think four days would give me enough time to do the whole thing. Um, so you learn, you live and learn, you live and learn. And make sure if you come on this trail, you bring plenty of bug spray and uh, plenty of bug spray. These horse flies are horrible. They bite. Uh, and they do have ticks and I think a few mosquitoes, but mosquitoes weren't terribly bad. But the, the flies and the ticks, you got to watch out for. All right, guys, we'll see you next time on Fat Guy's Backpack. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Just five more to 190 subscribers. All right, have a great day. Bye.